Then we want to look at uh, how we can uh, convert our categorical data. I have a categorical data with uh, uh, yes, no, and then gender, male and female. So I have two libraries that I'm going to use. Let's view the data. That's the data we have. I have the column gender that is I am interested in, and also the other columns uh, is yes and no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the next line and I'm going to select, I'm going to call it data one, data one. And what I want to do, uh, I want to take the data, introduce the pipe and then select columns number one. I know the columns 28 and 29. And then after that, because I know it is going to be a character, I'm going to mutate if. If the data is character, let's make it a factor. I want it to be a factor, a factor data. So now if I view my data, data one, then I see I have male, female, then I have yes and no. I can change the column, but for now, not change. That's not what I want to do. Today, I want to introduce the numbers. Uh, so I'm going to call this data two for the purpose of this training. So I'm going to pick my data one, introduce the pipe, and I'll mutate hat. Uh, in my next video, I'll talk about more about this mutate art, mutate if, mutate art. I have three terms. One of them is gender. The other one is P Q fifteen, and the third one is P Q sixteen. Those are the three that I have. And then after that, I'm going to introduce uh, functions. And uh, this uh, is the case one. Okay, let me just move this down. And then I think that should be fair enough for me so that I could bring this one at this point. Case one. So what I want to do next, I want to make sure that uh, I take care. So I want to say, if you find the word male, you should assign it one. For whenever you find the word female, you should assign it zero. You can assign the numbers you want. If you find the word yes, and they assign it one. And I want to assign all of them at once without doing them in piecemeal. If you find no, assign it to, and that's basically it that I have uh, from what I had. Uh, yeah, you can leave them there or I can bring them here so that I'm able to close my brackets. And it's always good at every step you check. So now I'm going to check my data too. So I want to view my data too, view data too. And I get my zeros for the female and the one for the male, and then one, two for yes and no. Now, I could uh, as well have, uh, make sure that my data is in data frame. So, in the, uh, so I say data dot frame. Then I say, and I also want to make sure that it is as a factor. So I say mutate if, then I say data two, which I've already created if it's dot numeric, put it as factor. And I'll be very happy with it. And then my last step maybe is just to combine the two data sets with the C bind. So I'm going to put together data one, 
and data tool. This one is complaining. I don't know data tool muted if is numeric as factor. I don't know why I have a challenge with this. Uh, okay, there is a data frame. Uh, I don't know why I'm having unexpected as factor. Uh, so as factor seems to, okay, I see the problem is the full stop and I should have put a comma. Thank you for that. And then data three. So now if I view my data three, I've combined my two data together so I can see female is zero, female is zero. And that's what we have. I'm sure you've liked uh, the conversion that we have done uh, of, the, of the categorical data, introducing the numerics in it and converting it into factors. If you love my videos, please subscribe to the videos uh, because that's how you find the videos enjoyable as you continue to watch them more. And uh, please subscribe to them.